हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल वर्ल्ड ऑफ ए डब्ल्यू एस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो वी आर कंटिन्यू विद डेटा रॉक टूटोरियल एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू वॉक यू थ्रू द डैशबोर्ड डिफरेंट डैशबोर्ड अवेलेबल इन डेटा रॉक ओके सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी सोन यू हाई हाउ वी कैन मोनिटर इज सी टू बट देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ मोर डैशबोर्ड इज अवेलेबल टू मोनिटर द सर्विसेज so let me search for postgres okay so here we have postgres dashboard click on it i don't have any postgres database running uh, in my aws account so i am not going to see any data here but yeah i will guide you how we can create a log and how we can uh, monitor and how we can do all the things in data log okay so whenever you have multiple aws account okay configured then you can uh, like uh, filter your aws account using this okay and you can filter uh, based on region you can filter based on account you can filter based on db instance you can filter using db cluster okay if you want to create for a specific environment alert okay then you can do this way so here is a lot of things available here all the metrics we can see successful transaction connection used on vacuum transaction database connection by the cluster okay cpu utilization by the db average cpu utilization instances with high cpu utilization and a lot of metrics we can see and suppose if you want to create any alert here right how we can do it so we have to click on three dot if we want to like suppose if we want to create for database connection okay then we have to come here in the database and we have to click here on three dot we have then we have to click on create monitor and then we have to define our matrix and the alert notification and the subject okay so here we can see aws rds database connection so we have to define the connection here okay so according to your use case so let me cancel it and walk you through the other dashboard okay so we can get here s3 dashboard as well so here i have like a few buckets uh two buckets and there is one object it's showing in my aws account so here we can see all the metrics here right so what are the things is getting uh, fluctuated in our like s3 so we can see all the things here right according to our uh, s3 bucket so we can also filter here with the bucket name aws account aws region or entire uh, bucket if you have, if you want to filter with a specific bucket then you can do it okay but i don't have too many buckets here so let's go back to the dashboard here again and go to the eks suppose if you want to monitor the elastic search for elastic okay sorry qr let's see here the qr itself is, is maybe i have not defined in the policy so it's not giving here okay so if you want to add some like monitor some more services then you have to update your uh, policy that we have created in the first video like integrating uh, like uh, de data dog with the uh, aws we have created one role so in that policy you have to update whatever services you want to monitor so i have not um, uh, like defined uh, eks to monitor in that policy so i am not able to see the uh, eks here right so we have another eks 
network ELV so we can see all the metrics here we are, if we have a uh, load balancer running then we can see it here and we can create the alert in same way as we have created previously okay so that's it like how we can just uh, by going to the dashboard and opening that dashboard and after that we have to click on uh, three dot and we can create the alert okay apart from it we have a lot of things we can do it but i'm not going to explain each by each services okay but whatever whatever the major things are here i have already explained okay if you want to like monitor your application apm then you can also configure here you just have to click on whatever application uh, like language you are your application is using java python dot net or this and this many so you can do it just click on get started host based container based or serverless so which you want to monitor now i want to monitor host based so uh, choose your language java if we want to then so it will showing all the step that we need to configure on our uh, like agent okay to configure our agent on our application so that it will collect all the metrics from our application and it will visualize here okay so this one uh, like this way we can configure a, a uh, apm for our application and we can monitor our application so infrastructure we can uh, like um, like we can map our like uh, we can create a separate metrics and we can monitor our infrastructure okay and here we can see kubernetes service right kubernetes here we can click and we can configure as well uh, so we can define our cluster uh, and we can install the uh, datadog agent on our cluster and that agent will collect all the metrics from the um, kubernetes cluster and visualize it here okay so that's it for this video i hope you found this video informative and helpful and now you are totally aware of what is datadog and how we can integrate with aws and uh, like how we can send those alert to teams and slack and how we can create separate monitor and how like how we can create apm and how we can integrate with different cloud provider and different services okay so that's it i hope you found this video informative helpful informative and helpful okay and don't forget to subscribe my channel and do check out my other playlist as well thanks thanks for watching see you in the next video